This time of year, you hear a lot about gratitude and Thanksgiving. You know, how do we approach the upcoming holiday? How do we use it to our benefit? I just have to reflect on my time and my time of being thankful for my personal relationship with God, being thankful for my connection to my ancestors, and being thankful for understanding that the world is big, vast, and complex, and the universe holds it all. And so in that space. I think back to a time that wasn't so joyous that I didn't look forward to getting together with family and friends and everybody was celebrating and everybody is, you know, happy this, happy that. And how did I navigate that space? Even in the midst of my darkest moments, I still was able to dig down deep and find something that I was grateful for, even if it was for that moment and that breath. So as we start to navigate these next few days, and there's going to be a lot of commands to be thankful, a lot of commands to be grateful, a lot of folks getting together, and there'll be some who are alone, some who will be cold, some will, who won't have a bountiful meal. And in our gratitude, we can always extend a prayer, send love, send positive energy to others who might be indifferent and difficult situations. Carrie's Touch is starting to release our videos on mental health awareness, and you're going to hear some of the stories of some women who had some struggles navigating their space. And then they still found a place of peace, a place of gratitude, and a place that they could feel and be whole. I send you off, my best friends, with thankfulness for this moment.